The Savage 10 ML-2 as supplied is the most maintenance free muzzle loader on the market today when employed with uh, smokeless propellants such as Accurate Arms 5744. In fact it's so maintenance free that some people think it requires no maintenance at all. Well it does require maintenance and uh, the only item that really uh, needs attention periodically on the entire firearm is the breech plug. So the breech plug is easily the most neglected part of the Savage 10 ml 2 Now this breech plug has been fired approximately 75 shots with 5744, 45 grand charge. And what will happen is you'll have a buildup inside the breech plug of primer residue. It's not from the smokeless powder, it's primarily carbon created by the energetic in the primer, in the 209 primer. So it's important uh, to ensure that your gun shoots like new uh, forever, essentially forever, is to periodically clean out that carbon. Uh, there's a couple different methods. You can do it by hand using a 5 30 seconds drill bit or you just use a drill. Now, uh, you might want to mark a box of 209 primers and after every 100 shots, service your breech plug and make sure we have a nice clean uh, passageway through the center of it. So there we go. This one has about 75 shots through it. We're going to use a 5 30 seconds drill and we're going to see what, what amount of carbon crud we can get out of the center of that breech plug. Power on. Notice we're drilling in uh, after removal of the vent liner. Uh, the breech plug is clean going in from the primer pocket side only, not from the vent liner side. Let me take a look at the, there's the carbon right there. It gets nice and hard. Now if you're doing it by hand, an easy way uh, to make this job uh, a little easier to manage is to take your breech plug and soak it in a 35 millimeter film canister covered with just a conventional smokeless powder solvent like Hoppy's number nine. Hoppy's number nine or even break free will do a fine job in softening that carbon and just making it making it easier to drill out if you're using a drill bit by hand and, and, a, and a screwdriver. If you want to use a, a battery operated or power drill you can just drill it out uh, completely dry like we've done here. As my technical advisor has pointed out here when we're removing the vent liner for service You'll notice that although we have a generous threaded portion of the breech plug, we have an unthreaded portion, also known as a snout. Now the snout does offer a, an, a maintenance benefit, and that being if we're putting a set of channel locks on to remove the vent liner, we can clamp down on the unthreaded snout portion without mangling, boogering up, or disfiguring any of the thread. So your breech plug is going to function like new, there is no potential damage to the threads because these are clamped down with uh, channel locks, vice grips, or some people if they've got a vice handy, just makes it that much easier. So after you're done, I don't know if you can, if you, if you can see that on camera, but you'll, you'll, when you hold it up to the light, you'll notice you have a nice, a nice clean passageway. And to finish up, all we have to do is use a uh, shooter's choice or any salt any solvent of your choice, even Hoppy's works fine. Clean up the breech plug, re-lubricate uh, both the vent liner and the primary breech plug threads as before, and reassemble the gun like we've already done. And then we're good to go for uh, well, approximately uh, 100 shots. <laughs> <laughs>